Hi, I'm Ron Polk. So I use SketchUp and I demonstrate it quite often here on YouTube. And the version that I always recommend that people start with is uh, SketchUp Make, which is their free version. And then they have SketchUp Pro, which is the version that I use. Because I use SketchUp for all of my work, uh, for remodels, new homes, um, you know, the workbenches, anything that I'm doing. And I need to produce uh, a set of plans, a set of 2D plans that I can print uh, for either myself to build off of or someone else to build off of. And I need to put a lot of notes and details. Well, the companion program that's included with SketchUp Pro is called Layout. And in Layout, there is a, uh, a tool, it's a portal. And basically, I'm gonna show you really quickly what a portal is and how it links back to SketchUp. So on this uh, particular project that I'm working on here, um, I have these different views of my model that uh, I'm able to then come in and add, say, dimensioning to or notes to and, uh, and zoom in and show. Uh, so when I print it, I can show certain details. Well, I don't need to draw each of these details. They're in my model. Um, if I design the model in 3D in, a, in such a way that I have all the detail, then I just need to have a view of it uh, zoomed in and looking at it a certain way. So you can see here that I have uh, five different views and, and each one of these is a portal or a window back to SketchUp. So now what I could do, um, I've got this space down here and I may want another view uh, to show another detail. So I could click on this and I can hold down the option key and it gives me that little plus arrow, just like in SketchUp. So a lot of the tools in both are very similar. So you learn one and it's pretty easy to use the other. So now I'll hold the shift key to get it straight down. I'll bring it on down here and then I'm going to just go ahead and make this bigger. This will be a little simpler to see. You can see there's actually more information already there, but I had uh, brought this down just to give uh, certain details. But I could come in here now and change this to say the right and it will jump over and it will give me this right view. And then I can come in with my tools now and I could take say my labeling tools and set this up for um, millimeter and come in and start doing my dimensioning. And I could also uh, come in with um, text and um, do whatever, you know, whatever I wanted. And, and to make it even simpler, I can come in and grab this previous text and then hold the shift to line it up. And I could come in here and just put um, right view. And then edit it and, you know, make it, uh, you know, centered and size this box how I'd want. So you can see I can detail it out and label it. And there's a lot of tools. I'm not here to show you all the tools. It's basically about these portals. But if I jump back over to SketchUp, you can see that I have these tabs across the top. These are scenes. And back in layout where I showed you, um, you know, front screw layout, for example, I had set that up in SketchUp and I made a bunch of changes where I set the camera uh, from, from the uh, perspective or the 3D view. I changed the camera to parallel projection because I wanted it flat. I just zoom it in to where I wanted it and then um, go in here and update. And that changes everything that I changed and now if I go back into, and this is the front uh, screw layout, if I go back into layout and I come here, click on this one, that's the front screw layout. If I right click and I update the model reference, then any changes that I made would come in. Now I didn't make any changes, so it didn't, it didn't change, but if I changed the camera angle or, or did anything, it would stay actively connected to SketchUp. So that's what a portal is. So when I'm um, making a set of plans that I want to communicate a lot of detail, 
Uh, like in this plan, I have eight pages. Well, all those pages have an instant of the an instance of the model on it through these portals. This 3D version here, just to show the overall, um, you know, look at the bench is just another portal, and then I'm able to put all these notes and and such around there. So that is a, just a brief look at how layout works with SketchUp. I get that question a lot. Do I need it? And so I thought it'd be worth taking the time. There's a lot of other tools and a lot of stuff at, that you can do with it. All of the, uh, you know, my logo at the bottom, my website, all this stuff are, are, is a page that I've built that is my standard page. And I use this uh, even for my remodels and new construction so that I've got this across, um, you know, the, the main page and then I'll have my index and all of that stuff. So I don't have to retype that stuff every time. Of course, I have to change the, the lingo and, the, and what the pages are and things, but it gives me a format to bring my model over to. And again, if it's a house, then I would have the whole house <clears throat> here and then I would go into you know, having the foundation and then the framing and and then details with siding and then cabinetry and all of that kind of stuff. And I could easily have, a, you know, a 50 page uh, set of plans here. There you have it. That is layout. And these are portals. If you like learning about SketchUp and layout, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and most important, share them with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.